Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah I can hear you. Okay. Cool. Hi, Anil. Thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah. Um, Anil, it's it's been quite um okay, quite a journey right now in the past two weeks because uh, you know we've seen so many courageous women come forward with their stories. Um, you know, it gives us hope that you know Me Too has finally come here and women can find a safe place where they can tell what happened to them. You, of course, are among the few people who took a stand, even in Tanushree's case and even in other cases, you know, you came forward and you condemned what happened with these women. And, um, you know, and right now, of course, you, you know, you, you, uh, you knew, I'm sure you know about Saloni's, uh, Saloni's story. And Saloni, Saloni has just tweeted uh, about it as well. Um, you know, you worked, uh, you worked with Zen, you knew him so well. Um, you know, uh, tell us. I mean, uh, you must be a. You must be feeling so, you know, uh, uh, so overwhelmed that she finally has come out and shared the story with the world. And uh, 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 you know, like she's mentioned in her story, I came to know about it one month after the release of my film for a blog that she had written, and I knew that she was talking about him. And it really, really broke my heart because for me to think that I have lost someone. Uh, who I trained, mentored for four years, and I didn't never realized this. And uh, it took me a while, but I believed her because a lot of things, you know, fitted in yeah. other things. And then uh, I met the other girls also, the KW, oh, exactly. who uh, was the second girlfriend, and uh, everything fitted in. And I felt very cheated as a person that. Uh, you know, this whole thing of, I, I almost even feel like scared of working with, you know, newcomers because I had spent so much of time training, launching someone and then to realize that, you know, it turned out someone like this and I stood up, I mean, I decided that I would uh, give her whatever little strength I can and we spoke, I mean, to, there was very little press within to talk to her at that point, unfortunately. But we spoke, I spoke, I decided I would work with them and I also informed everybody who I knew, casting directors, uh, uh, 97 points uh, to get them when I was in a show, different production houses, uh, that is my talent and this has happened and the rest is of course up to them. And a uh, lot of people took steps and some people did not, uh, you know, just never even replied or, uh, you know, kind of ignored. And this is the same silence that she's been talking of, other people have been talking of, that somehow very often there is a lot of people, I mean, it takes a lot of courage to speak because a lot of people just don't entertain or don't, I have been told by so many people that don't talk or they don't talk, don't get involved in all this. And I was like, listen, I can't, I can't be silent because of the kind of films I make and for what I stand for. I will feel, I will feel a lesser human being if I don't stand up and give my uh, support. Um, you know, I think, again, I would like to applaud, uh, you know, the fact that, you know, we, we discussed this uh, uh, before the call as well. Um, that, you know, at that time, um, even though people stopped you, you took a stand. When I read this blog of hers, I'm more shocked. You know, when I, I never knew about the other names that Vikas, Sajid, what she went through. I'm like, oh God, what all people have gone through. You know, it is horrible. You know, uh, for me also, uh, you know, for me what was shocking is, is that, like, to realize that uh, how could I be so blind you know, uh, and I've always, I've had great relationship with all my actors, everyone, they're like family, so it was like family, I loved them dearly, and I was heartbroken to, you know, it was not easy for me to even speak up against or to take a stand against, because uh, this was, it was like another human being, you know, for me, he was a perfect boy, Delhi University, feminist, always said the right thing, and then this was like another human being and I thought that he needed counseling and he at one point when he realized I was meeting the girls he sent a email saying I'm sorry but I have to go because my grandfather is ill I'll come back and meet you and that's when I get to know that he's quickly gone to get engaged to another girl you know so it is it was a huge like you know just 
that the way everything happened was almost unreal. At the same time, every action of this just went ahead and proved that it was the truth because it was also not one person, different people who didn't know each other, you know, having gone through this horrific experience. Planet Bollywood News, Monday to Friday at 7 p.m. Only on Zoom.